at such a young age, I've been able to advocate for students, influence university policy, and make a real change at UB. I love music because music loves me back. Music has given so much to me, and I, I just want to give something to it. I'm an entrepreneur because I believe it's the only way that you can control your life and become fully responsible for the actions you make and all of the money that you want to make. I decided to run for politics because I wanted to champion the cause for change for my community and young people of our country. The reason I am an advocate is because I believe that service is the rent that you pay for your room here on earth. This, this is, is my, my story. story. Our age does not limit our potential. This, this is, is our story. story. What's, What's yours? One of the, the, the most predominant traits of a good leader um, is definitely servanthood, um, servitude, being able to serve, um, knowing that yes, you are in charge, but your ultimate um, goal or purpose is service to the people who have won elected you to be in charge or selected you or appointed you or look up to you as the person um, identified to be in charge. Well, a, a typical day growing up in the, in the household would have been you wake up in the morning, you um, obviously you go and freshen up, take a bath, you go across to the pump, you fill up your your trolley of, of water, um, you bring the water back, um, then you begin to clean up the hose. This is a typical Saturday um, afternoon. Um, my dad at the time, he did uh, landscaping, and so by 12 o'clock he was on the back of his red truck going down in one area to go clean up some yard, doing landscaping to come back. Um, and you get some little free time on your hand. Uh, often time that wasn't a good thing because of what you end up doing sometimes, but nonetheless, you get some free time on your hand. And um, yeah, you're back inside at the end of the day. My my free time was it, it depend on on what was happening at that particular time. My free time on a Saturday would normally be chilling with the boys on the blocks, um, riding out by the, um, in the back by the pond area. We used to go uh, uh, swimming in the pond. Uh, sea Walker has been a tremendous stepping stone for me. Um, uh, definitely, I give credit to my, um, my former schools as well, Stephen Miller Primary and Terry Thompson. And then of course the CR Walker. It has been a I, I considered that school the incubator that produced who I am today in terms of ready in me um, to take on these uh, opportunities in life. I've I've had the natural leadership ability, obviously what I've been running from for a long time, and then I was channeling it in the wrong way. So, uh, like I often tell um, young persons who I see going down the road, the wrong road, you know, I know what it is to be a part of the fair and one to get into our community. I know what it is to be on the wrong side of the law. Um, and I know what it is to now, you know, wanting to make a difference and see a change inside, inside your life. Like I was saying, having that leadership ability in me from even a, a very young age, it allowed me to do various things within the community, whether it was um, my mentorship program that I run um, called the Rising Star Meal Mentorship Program, um, the soup kitchen for the elderly, um, a number of back to school things that I did even before politics came into being. And I guess persons within my community saw my progress as a young man and saw where I was and now where I'm headed. And they actually had asked me to run inside um, the town. At the time, I honestly had no intentions of it in terms of at least not now. But, you know, 
when so after so many persons have came up to me and told me, you know, what they saw in me, the qualities they saw in me, thought that hey, this is man, you should give it a shot. And I'm like, you know, why why should I do this now? And they're like, listen, you, you're doing the job we expect I am to be doing right now. So I'm like, oh, okay. So nonetheless, I, I threw it off for a number of occasions and I finally decided that, hey, let me go and give this a shot. And so I spoke to some persons within the community who I look up to, elderly uh, statesperson within the community who I know were considered community leaders at that time. And they, you know, they didn't discourage me. They wanted me to make sure that I know what I was getting into and that this is something that I really, really was fully um, behind because of obviously the, the rough and tumble nature of politics and all that it entails. So I got into it not because I wanted to make a way for myself or I wanted to um, have this fancy title or the list goes on. I got into it because I, I felt like this was my opportunity for service. This was my opportunity to take what I was doing already on a small scale and put it now on a large scale for the entire community to be able to benefit from what I was doing in certain segments of my, my community. One of the things would keep me hopeful and optimistic about politics in the Bahamas, however, is the fact that we have so many young persons like, uh, like, like myself and you and the list goes on who uh, our expectations of politics is now totally different from our parents' generation and their expectations of politics. And so that keeps me hopeful about this, 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 this career or this uh, servanthood position. And, you know, young people are not looking at um, what my mother was or my father was or what this MP can do for me or, you know, trivial things of that nature. Young persons like us are now asking the questions um, what is your idea of, or your thoughts about global warming? How do you feel about um, economic empowerment? How do you feel about diversification of the economy? These are the questions that young persons are now asking individuals or potential candidates for, for, for uh, politics or coming into a government um, agency. I would say that my, my view has changed absolutely it has um, and i say that because it's one thing to look on the outside and then being on the inside is a whole different uh, uh ball game but it, it interestingly enough it it has changed to an even more optimistic view of what politics has the potential to really be politics is about the people inside of it and I say that because when you don't have persons who are in politics for the right reason, that is where the foundation and everything else crumble. Because people look up to, well some people rather, look up to politicians as these quote unquote gods, you know, and then in communities like mine, where you have the expectation may be that I'm expecting you to pay my light bill or water bill or phone bill or the list goes on you know while I am not I am not um, hesitant to help individuals if I can I certainly do if I can that should not be the foundation or the core purpose of how people view politicians and politics on a whole because we've seen now where it is fastly becoming a social service kind of, 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 of career or, or, or job title, you know. This position has taken my life, threw it up in the air, <laughs> and totally uh, revamped it. Um, I say that because nothing that my life comprised of prior to May 10th is the same. Uh, when it really, as it relates to family time, I, I totally enjoyed spending um, days with, with, with my grandmother and 
with my other uh, siblings on, on weekdays, and, you know, going out and having a good time. Um, I totally enjoyed the, the luxury of having to pick classes at, at university as I wish. I totally, you know, enjoyed um, the life of, of a stress-free life, if I could call it that. Um, but now the expectations and demands are so great of me. You know, I don't necessarily have the time now to spend three and four days with with my with my grandmother as I would like. I don't necessarily have time now to um, pick up the phone and chat with, with with my friends, go out and have a social time. You know, the, the my social life has now been. Um, limited and not depleted. So I'm grateful for the opportunities that I'm now being able to to, um, to have and moreover I'm grateful for the opportunity to be in an opportunity where I can help more persons because politics gave you that flexibility as well to do some things for people um, obviously importantly in the right way um, but to be able to, you know, to be a blessing to people, to help persons who necessarily won't, would not have gotten that, that kind of a, a help and support um, had they not knew who you were and the position that you hold to be able to assist them in getting various uh, things that is due to them in terms of uh, governmental support or um, assistance in, in uh, proposals that will benefit the masses of people. My, my, my greatest challenge would be uh, getting people to buy into the idea um, that being in Grandstown can become something greater than what it really is today. And when I say that, I mean specifically for potential investors or persons who are owners and entrepreneurs to be able to come into the community and to really invest or to build a business or to, you know, come in and to give a, a helping hand for people in the area. So trying to get this message to the people who have the financial backing to really expedite or to bring to fruition the kinds of, of infrastructural development that we need uh, has been my, my toughest challenge thus far. Only you know your true worth and your true value that you bring to the table. Don't allow anyone else to tell you that it can't or cannot be done. No, don't, don't, don't ever get into that mindset. A person, for me personally, you know, I've I've developed the, the mantra that I live by every single day. Yeah. Don't downgrade your dreams to match your reality. Upgrade your faith to match your destiny. This has been our interview with the youngest member of Parliament, Travis L. Robinson. I'm your interviewer, Bertie McDermott, and thank you for watching. We are the unseen. Every night to make a way for them I know this ain't the life that you made for them I don't wanna see no more guns blazing them Look how they got the streets raising them Circumstances made a lot of young brothers crazy